Hello everyone, you are welcome to Westinos tutorial. In this video, we will cover some more MCQs, uh, 20 MCQs from this PDF. This is day 50 in our group. Mr. Hardcastle is a character in Importance of Being Honest, The School of Scandal, She Stoops to Conquer, or Arms and the Men. Your answer is uh, C. She Stoops to Conquer. She Stoops to Conquer is a comedy by Oliver Goldsmith. So, this work is in the same way as Oliver Goldsmith. So, if you have key point, dekhenge, highlighters points, so if you have 20 MCQs, then so nearly 200 MCQs you, uh, you can complete. Means 200 uh, points you can uh, remember. She stoops to conquer. आ, ये आपके किस जेनरा में है वो आपका कॉमेडी से रिलेटेड है किसने उसको लिखा है ओलिवर गोल्ड इसमें एंड इट वाज फर्स्ट परफॉर्मड इन 1773 द प्ले इज अ फेवरेट फॉर स्टडी ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड थिएटर क्लासेस इन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग वर्ल्ड नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द सेकंड वन व्हेयर डू दीस लाइंस अकर गॉड्स इन हिज हेवन ऑल्स राइट विद द वर्ल्ड जो ये लाइन लिखी गई है वो लिखी गई है आप लोगों की आंसर आप लोगों का पीपा पासेस पीपा पासेस किसका वर्क है इट इस अ वर्स ड्रामा रिमेम्बर दिस दिस इस समटाइम्स इट इस आस्ट लाइक दिस दिस इस अ ड्रामा ट्रेजेडी और पोइम और वर्स ड्रामा सो योर आंसर विल बी वर्स ड्रामा एंड दिस इस बाय रॉबर्ट ब्राउनी इफ यू आर विजिटिंग माय चैनल फर्स्ट on now uh, you can contact uh, contact me directly on whatsapp who wrote under the name tuple stock the tuple stock have who up long ago got kiss cup pen name hai. so the name uh, tuple stock is by thomas kellen uh, his name was uh, thomas kellen thomas kellen was a british historian satirical writer essayist translator philosopher and mathematician and teacher uh, he has written some books on uh, uh, heroes, hero worship, and the heroic history. Uh, heroic in history. Now let's come to the fourth one. Which novel by Thomas Hardy attacks the institution of marriage and uh, presents eritolepsy? Eritolepsy, jo hai, wo kisse related term hai? To ye aap logon ka uh, Thomas Hardy se related term hai. Or Thomas Hardy wo the jinhone institution of marriage ko kya kiya tha? He attacked that. And uh, the work. Uh, was Jyoti Avaskar and Jyoti Avaskar was novel. Okay, so remember these all facts related to Jyoti Avaskar. Jyoti Avaskar, uh, as you can uh, see here, novel by Thomas Hardy, which begins as a magazine. He, this is important to know about this novel. You should remember it is a magazine, it started as a magazine, okay, uh, in December 1894 and was first published in book form. In 1895, it is Hardy's last completed novel. So remember, this is last as well. And uh, its protagonist towards Jude Fowley, a working class young man, a stone mansion, uh, who dreams of becoming a scholar. Now let's come to the fifth question. Under this last is a collection of dash essays on economics. So how many essays were there in under this last? There were four essays and this these all got published in monthly journal of Carnegie magazine in four uh, articles okay so uh, such questions are asked in uh, tgt pgt at ugc that exam so if you are joining the group daily you will get 20 mcqs with the highlighter points and key points you can discuss and this uh, if you are making this habit for daily uh, whatever exams will be coming in upcoming future so you can uh, upcoming exams uh, definitely these exams will help you uh, which is George Eliot's first novel? So George Eliot has his first novel in which woman is tried for murdering her own child. So the novel was Adam Bede. It, uh, in, uh, it got published in 1858. She published her first novel under the pen name George Eliot. She published her first novel published her first novel. अपना जो पेन नेम था पेन नेम पे अगर आप लोगों ने वीडियो इफ यू हैव वॉच्ड माय लास्ट वीडियो जस्ट डे बिफोर यस्टरडे आई पब्लिश अ वीडियो फॉर पेन नेम्स इंपॉर्टेंट पेन नेम्स फ्रॉम इंग्लिश हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट राइटर्स पेन नेम्स 
are there so you can check out that video as well her first long novel adam beat in 50 now 1859 went through eight printings in a year next question for you is the collection of biographies by Lytton Estrechi, eminent victorian was published in jo collection of biographies tha Lytton Estrechi ka wo kab publish hua tha so it got published in 1918 um, such questions are asked like uh, Lytton Estrechi belongs to which is so he was victorian and uh, it got published in 1988 sorry uh, 1918 who of the following was an editor of magazine Bentley Miscellany? Bentley Miscellany ke jo editor the wo kaun the? Thomas Hardy, William Harrison Ensworth or Charles Dickens. So you can uh, see here uh, both are there. Uh, William Harrison Hen uh, Hen uh, Ensworth and Charles Dickens both uh, edited this magazine. Uh, here the editors as you can see here editor former editor Charles uh, Boss Dickens Dickens ka jo pen name tha wo kya tha aap logon ka boss tha Browning's The Ring and the Book is this is a long uh, a long of dramatic narrative so this is a dramatic narrative and uh, uh, here are the key points The Ring and the Book is a long dramatic narrative poem and more specifically a verse novel of 21,000 lines. So 21,000 lines were written in this book and it was written by Robert Browning. It was published in four volumes uh, in between 1868 to 1869 by Smith, Elder and Company. The poem, September 1, 1939 is a personal salaki on war and human degeneration. So this poem, September 1, 1939 was by W.H. Auden. The answer is W.H. Auden. W.H. Auden written uh, on the outbreak of the World War II. Uh, it was first published in the New Republic issue in, of 18 October 1939 and uh, in book from the Auden's collection Another Time. So if uh, you are asked that Another Time is collection of, so same writer, W.H. Auden. Next question for you is what is the subtitle of Charlotte Bronte's Jenaya? Jo Charlotte Bronte's uh, Jenaya work tha, iska subtitle kya tha? Next video I will make for subtitles. All important uh, uh, subtitles will be there. So uh, you should subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon. Answer is an autobiography. Jenaya originally published as Jenaya an autobiography. So uska subtitle kya tha aap it is an autobiography. These uh, all points you can uh, read in the book. And if you get uh, the PDF, uh, you will go through these all. An Ideal Husband and a Woman of No Importance by Oscar Wilde. So Oscar Wilde ka ke work the uh, Women of No Importance and Ideal Husband. These were uh, from the category satires. Oscar Wilde's play A Woman of No Importance is a satire on English upper class morality so jo theme hai wo kya hai aap logon ki ye hai and uh, society is double standard for women and men Shirley by Charlotte Bronte is a portrait of so Shirley jo tha wo kiska portrait tha wo tha aap logon ka Elizabeth Shirley a tale of social novel by English novelist Charlotte Bronte first published in 18 49. It was uh, Bronte's second published novel after Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre ke baad mein unhoane Sarle ko likha tha. And originally published under Bronte's pseudonym Carol Bell. Unka jo pseudonym tha, wo tha Carol Bell. Now, I told you in next last video. Day before yesterday I got that published. So you can check out that video as well. Now here is the next question for you. Uh, the title of the novel Vanity Fair. What is the uh, title uh, okay uh, the question is uh, from where it is borrowed all right so vanity fair ka jo title tha, wo kahan se liya gaya tha? it was from Bunyan's pilgrim's progress uh, i told you this in uh, uh, history of uh, literature class as well and uh, uh, interesting fact about william mcfish Thackeray, you will find his six pen names Six pen names uh, in last video I taught you William Matpis Tagre Vanity Fair. 
नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज रग्बी चैपल रग्बी चैपल बाय अनोल्ड इज रिटर्न ऑन द डेस्ट ऑफ हिज डैश योर योर आंसर इज हिज फादर सो ही डेडिकेटेड दिस दिस वर्क दिस एल एस जी टू हिज फादर मैथ्यू अनोल्ड फादर हिज फादर नेम वॉज थॉमस अनोल्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज uh the question number 16 is ah uh, what a man's reach should exceed his grasp or what's heaven for these lines are written by uh, robert browning robert browning uh, was an english poet and playwright whose um, poet and playwright whose dramatic monologue made him one of the foremost uh, victorian period uh, poets let's come to the next one which of the following novels was influenced by callel's french revolution so which work is influenced by callel's uh, work french revolution a uh, tale of two cities famous victorian work and uh, it was a historical novel by charles dickens as you know and it was set in london this question is asked several time in english literature exams um it was uh, uh set in london and paris uh, before and during the french revolution so it has a great impact of french revolution as you can see 18 question number 18 is in which poem do these lines occur it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all so these lines are in in memoriam i have explained this poem in detail uh to you and in memoriam h uh, a h h is a poem by uh the british poet alfred lord lord tennyson and published in 1850 now second last question for you from this pdf and if you wish to join you can uh, join us uh, on our whatsapp group uh, here is the number you can you can see uh, on this video who created the character swiney an ape necked uh, symbol of unthinking modern materialism so this was by t s eliot the greatest modernist writer we will not go through the all key points just go through this one and this is very important question the last question is important rubai or in rubaiyat means uh, it is quatrain uh, it means quatrain and uh, in rubaiyat you will find four lines and uh, in four lines in which lines 1 2 and 4 all rhymes mm, uh, uh, it is uh, very open as there is no defining of length of line and number of stanzas and plural of rubaiyat uh, rubai is rubaiyat so if you are preparing for ugc net or any english literature exam you can join our pdf courses and video classes uh, see you soon in next video till then goodbye take care